Do you know where the cereals are? Yeah, further down, mate. Just past the bakery. Just past the bakery? Right down. Lovely, thank you. Excuse me. I just want to quickly pop to the bakery. Do you mind just holding this a sec for me? Just hold that a sec, yeah? His name's Ronnie. He's fine. He just thinks he, he just thinks he's running the country, that's all. It's a bit funny in that way. His name's, his name's Ronnie. Just hold on for one second. I'll just be back in a sec. Thanks, that's brilliant. Thank Ronnie, is that what you wanted? Ronnie? Is that, yeah? Yes. All right, thank you. Right, that's lovely, thanks. Ronnie, which shampoo do you like, Ronnie? We get you some, do you want some antiperspirant, Ronnie? Sometimes you get a bit smelly, don't you? Yeah? Sorry. Ronnie, say hello. Yeah. <coughs> His name's Ronnie. Ronnie, say hello. I'll be back in about one minute. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. And I thought as we're outside a magnificent church here, it would be appropriate to make a prayer to Mammon, the god of money, of course the most popular god today. And I have here with me my own personal slave here, Ronnie. And uh, it's great, I tell you something, I recommend it. It's not expensive these days to get a slave and I would recommend it to anybody who can afford it. So I'm gonna do the prayer and here it goes. Dear God of money, woman, God on high, how happy we are that we have large corporations like Morrison's. Where would we be without them? Please help us to work very hard so that we can earn some money to pay tax to the government and hopefully if there's any left over, we can buy lots and lots and lots of things to fill up that hole inside of us. Help us remain obedient. Help us do what we're told when someone in authority tells us to do it. And then hopefully we will, when we reach the ripe old age, go to heaven, hopefully with lots and lots of things to take with us. Why have you got him on a dog's leg, mate? Well, am, am I not allowed to? What? Because what? He's, he's mine. I own him. What are you representing? A church or Mormon uh, church? Or... He, he well, said, I'm, I'm, the... I'm representing the, the primary religion of today's society, which is basically he, he money and government. Right. This just, is wrong. Just say, out of take, interest, please, you... Please, do yourself a favour. Take that lead off his neck. Take off it. You want to take it? Take it off. Ronnie, come back. Well, Ronnie. What, what are you... Ronnie, do what he's Ronnie. Doing. I think McDonald's can be used 
If you've got very annoying people in your life, maybe if your boyfriend cheated on you, take them to McDonald's on a regular basis, and after a while, if you're lucky, they'll get some nasty chronic illness. It doesn't just affect, by the way, the human body, it affects your mind. The drugs in the food at McDonald's are part of the government social control scheme, which is designed to suppress people and stop them thinking about what's really going on. And going in there, I think it's working, to be honest. They called the police because I was in there telling everyone about all the dodgy ingredients in there. When they come, I think I'll tell them to arrest the people in there for serving drugs for children.